Okay, we're taking you on a walking tour with us as we head to Spanish school. Hola, I'm Neosha. And I'm Nick. And we moved from Kansas. To Mexico. And we are sharing our videos with you. We hope you enjoy them. Adios. Adios. We're not going our usual route because our usual route's flooded. Yeah, as you could see from the other video where we got the car stuck. <laughs> we don't even want to walk that way now. Not at all. So today is Monday. The beginning of, what week is this for us? Fourth week or fifth? That's a great question. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of the fifth. Maybe. I don't remember. Because <laughs> uh. we are going to take our third test this week. We just took our second test last week. <laughs> and so we'll take our third test this week and then we have a fourth test, and then we have a final test. Yeah, this is the beginning of five. Okay, so this is the beginning of our fifth week here for Spanish school, at least. <laughs> so, well, I, I gotta show you something. This, this gate right here, <laughs> it's so funny because if you look at it, it makes me think of the Jurassic Park area. <laughs> The Velociraptor cage. Yes. I don't know which Jurassic movie it was. I think it was the first one. No. It's, not, it's the one oh. with, what's his name? He wrangles them. Oh, Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Jurassic World. So, those are good movies. So, every time we drive or walk by that, I always think of that movie. <laughs> So, I gotta show you this. So these have coconuts in them. And they do fall down to the ground, as you can see here. <laughs> they tell us to be careful walking under them. <laughs> I'm sure it would hurt if a coconut hit us on top of our head. Oh, they kill people. Oh, <laughs> so we gotta be very careful. <laughs> They're heavy enough, they'll crack your skull. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. The car coming up is a taxi. So, there are taxi cars like that around. And there are several different other kind of taxi cars and buses and everything. So. Today for class, um, we still need to do a video on telling how Spanish school works, but for today it's considered A day, so they have an A and a B day, and then they have a C day. So for A day, we are learning, well, we have vocabulary, and we have to have vocabulary words memorized. A day is every other day. So every other day we get a new list of words to memorize. And then we have a test on it that day. And we have grammar every so, day. Yeah, so we have grammar every day. We're learning something new every day with grammar. And then same with A day. So we have A day, we have vocabulary, we have grammar, and then we have phon phonics which we are, we have a scripture to memorize, which I have put on a couple of shorts showing uh, myself reading the scripture in English and then in Spanish. So that's what A. Okay, my alarm just went off and so it stopped the video. Anyhow, um, 
If you look over here, a lot of trees have fallen because it rains so much, making the ground really soggy and the, the trees couldn't stand. So, so anyways, let's go back to Spanish school. Um, a day we have grammar and phonics and vocabulary. On B day, which will be tomorrow, so our homework for tonight, um, will be verbs. So we have verbs that we need to memorize and we need to memorize the conjugating of the verbs. And then we have grammar again. I think that's it for B day, right? We do um, mm, yes, we for homework. In, for homework. In class, we do um, speak, and we learn to be able to speak better and pronounce words better, and then also to write words and translate sentences from English to Spanish. And then, the infamous C day. <laughs> Those are test days. So, test days are every seven days. And that's how that works. So, this week on C day, our seventh day, we'll have a test. And after that, we go A, B, A, B, A, B, and then a C day. With that one, that'll be our fourth test. Then we're gonna review the next day and then we're gonna have our final and that's over everything we learned all through all the four weeks. All seven weeks. All seven weeks. Six weeks. From all four tests. Six I'm gonna say that. <laughs> so we are coming up onto um, over here. I'll show you when we get closer. It's one of the row cafes. That's where we have Almoreza and which is lunch. We'll have it there. Or we go to the La Comida, which is right there in front of us. You can barely see it. And they also have Almoreza there as well. So, so this is, you can see it shows row cafe with a K. We go to another place and it's called Row Cafe, but with a C. And this little window there, you order kind of like a concession stand. It's kind of quiet today. Oh yeah. It's Monday. It's supposed to restart school today. Yeah. It must have. Uh... That again. Yeah, I don't know. We could explain that. Um, the what? government actually shut down all of the uh, regular schools, which they technically have control over the schedule of this school. This is the high school, and this is where students from all over Mexico they'll come here and go to school. This is all This is... Everything with the Bible school. Oh, well, some of these rooms in here are the high school. So, yeah. Um, we just learned about this in June and we only saw it once, so I don't remember much. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna let Nick continue explaining. I just wanted to show you the school. Yeah. So the government, after Hurricane John blew through, they actually shut down a lot of schools. And the rain that followed, even though we didn't get hit by the hurricane, the rain that followed flooded so much stuff that it was dangerous and wiped out roads and things. Um, but they shut down a bunch of schools. So they were supposed to resume today unless the government stepped in again and said, no, they can't. And by the severe lack of children, I would guess that uh, they're not starting yet. <laughs> because it should be loud and bustling at the moment. <laughs> yeah. The grass is still wet. <laughs> Very. As you can see, we have this little path 
to the door for the Spanish school. <laughs> and so there's your little walking tour from close to our home to Spanish school. Hope you enjoy.